Here are a few tips that I want to share with you when you are thinking to create your core circle of influence. Whether it has to do with our personal life or our professional life, we need to have core people around us that is going to help us to get there. And I want to share a, a few key points with you when you are looking to develop or create your core circle. Here are some pointers for you. And the first key point is that you need to first find a person who believes in what you are about, who shares your vision and your mission. That's the first person you want to have as part of your circle of influence. The next person you want to have is someone who will not just tell you what you want to hear, but who will tell you what you need to hear and you will take it with love and know that they are saying that because they love you and care enough for you. The next person that you need to have around you is a spiritual teacher or leader. Remember, I said spiritual, not religious. Okay? And there is a difference. And that's another message for another time. I'm not going to get into that part now. But you need to have your spiritual well-being in order. So you need a spiritual mentor and teacher. And that can be the same person. I know for me, there are times when I had to look outside of my regular spiritual environment to find the person or persons. Because I have more than um, one uh, spiritual teacher and mentor. And I had to be courageous enough to look outside to find the people that was going to allow me to stretch to get to where I needed to be. I, I know one of my, um, my spiritual mentor, he put me to a challenge once and when we got off the Skype call, I, my head was like spinning because he saw something for me that at the time I was not seeing for myself. And as I journaled, journal, journal about the challenge that he gave me, within a week, I was able to constructively embrace and started to implement that. And, you know, every day I, I thank him for that because had not that been for him and his belief in what I was doing and to realize I was holding myself below where I needed to be, and he cared enough to tell me to just go up there and just do it. So that's the kind of people you want around you. So <clears throat> the people who believe in your mission and your vision, the people who will hold you accountable, the, the people who will not just tell you what you want to hear, but what you need to hear because... It is the need that is going to get us to uh, accomplish all the goals that we want. And the, the fourth thing is uh, the person who is going to be your spiritual teacher, mentor, and guide. And I pointed out there that you must realize that a spiritual teacher, mentor, and guide is different from a religious person so you got to, to pick because sometimes there is an overlap and, and confusion so you got to listen to your heart and know you're going to follow where your heart is leading you when it comes to the spiritual part of who you are the next thing you need to have a coach or guide 
that is going to help you with your diet, your health and well-being. I know some people go to the gym and, and all of that. For some people, it's just a mentor that they talk about things together that they want to do with what they want to do with the meals and how they're going to do meal planning and all of that. There are, with social media going on, there are a lot of people who have groups that is set up there. But if you have big goals, you need to have this core inner circle of influence with you. It is as if you have your own little PR firm that is working with you to get you where you need to be. It's like like the sports, the people in the sports club. They they have they have the trainer, they have their 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 chefs, they have everything. You don't have to worry about meal planning and all of that because you have that team that gets it together for you. And it's the same thing, although you have your personal goals, although I have my personal goals and focus, my core circle of influence helps me to stretch way beyond the goals that I have for myself. When I place my intentions to them, they get into thought-provoking conversation with me. Why now? Why this and not that? And sometimes I have the answers and sometimes I don't. But I can always go back when I have all the answers and I can tell them Y, X, and Y, Z. They probably ask me, do you think if you add N-O-P on that, it would equal? And then we discuss that. But the one thing I can tell you is that my core group of people of influence around me, if I had to pay them for that, I would not be able to do that. So what I do for them is that I add value in their life in a way that they may require and vice versa. So they do for me, I, I do for them. But I know that the goals that I'm now accomplishing, had I not implement a core group of influencers, I would not be able to be doing a lot of the things that I am now doing. Now, the other thing I want to add after this, you know, I am such an advocate for gratitude. Once you get this core group of influencers around you, show appreciation. It doesn't mean that you go out and buy big gifts and all of that, but show appreciation. Sometimes it's just taking the time to do a handwritten note. I tell you, it is very, very important because it doesn't matter how successful you are. It doesn't matter how high you are on the ladder of success. You need someone to say some kind words to you at times. So remember, you can get these little cards, blank greeting cards, that you can do a handwritten note to your circle of influencers. And let them know how much you appreciate them. Let them know what it is you are doing to touch the life of somebody else. And my encouragement, after you have your core group of influencers in place, I want you to pay it forward. Find a group of young individuals and teach them how to start their core group of influencers so that they can grow together and build each other up. So I will see you when it's time for my next Wednesday message. Bye now.